Okay, Brian here from QuantLabs.net, 139 p.m. July 18th. I've done a crypto video in a while, but these are important ones I could not ignore. This is regarding both Binance and Coinbase. Coinbase. Okay, so this was posted six hours ago. Coinbase rumors going insolvent grow. Here's what people are saying. This can be found at Bitcoinist.com. Let's go through it. Okay, so I've done some articles or videos already on this about uh, that they have not separate out their customer account funds versus their operations. So they are, Coinbase is a fairly high priced, uh, high priced commission exchange. So they're out of, they're not competitive at all. Especially with Binance US now really trying to hurt them by offering commission-free Bitcoin trading from Binance.us. So um, let's go through this article again. Crypto space needs today is news like uh, companies launching, hiring new employees and crypto price skyrocketing. Two victims have already taken place. We got Voyager Digital, Three Arrows Capital, and plus we also had Celsius, which we covered a month ago uh, regarding the freezing of withdrawals. So that's the first sign that um, an exchange or a crypto business will go out. So this next one on Coinbase uh, is not good. Crypto prices smothered in red and so-called domino effect remain high. There's a good possibility other co uh, companies will follow. I do believe Coinbase is going to have some big problems. They just uh, dropped their uh, affiliate program. Sparks the suspicion that the exchange may be experiencing a liquidity crunch. Uh, crypto community believes that the suspension of the affiliate program indicates a comp company's insolvency. Uh, okay, Business Insider, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong. Let's uh, call him, well, I'm not going to say, but just watch out for him. That's all I'll say. Is terminating its affiliate program in the U.S. Insider uncovered three different creators' emails that show the exchange will temporarily suspend the program on July 19th. Adverse situations, market compelled the lending platform to take this action. Now remember they've also closed uh, Coinbase Pro because that was a horrible exchange. They got Coinbase Retail and that they've redone it. Now, I don't know what they've done on the API, but I have no interest. Um, so some people took the Twitter uh, move was symbolic and indicative of Coinbase liquidity issues. Yeah, this is serious. Number of actions like recent decision, blah blah blah. So here's a couple of tweets. Here, here, here's from uh, Ben Armstrong. Coinbase shut down their affiliate program, getting rid of Coinbase Pro. Recent history would suggest that they could be in trouble ahead of for C, uh, CB, so tread lightly. If Coinbase were go, to go and solve it, this would break crypto, the crypto space like we have not seen before, because they're one of the largest, I mean, the second largest. Last month, Coinbase combined their USD and USDC markets, closed Coinbase Pro, and turned off their affiliate program. This is over a year of insider selling coin stock, which is absolutely crater. Um, yeah, so the Coinbase Pro closed down, and um, Six Man Ventures' Mike Dundas, Dudas has described the NFT platform on the crypto exchange dead on arrival, so that's not doing too good. So here's what the guy says, Brian Armstrong. Uh, well capitalized, past we pulled ahead and consolidated share, staying focused while others got distracted. Make the best companies even stronger and this will be no exception. This guy's out of touch with reality, I think. Um, another tweet here, uh, Kraken's, okay, so Kraken's done really well. Uh, there are no liquidity problems going on Coinbase while renowned crypto YouTube Jungle Inc we are the best, biggest crypto exchange in the U.S. profit six billion dollars of cash reserves, in addition to significant crypto reserve. Coinbase, okay. Um, so my view is they're not doing too good. Now, if you're looking at Binance, you got to be aware of this one at um, this b10ztalk.com. Now, this is the second time they've done this. Binance temporarily pauses Bitcoin withdrawals as prices slip. Okay, so that's Binance. Now, I don't know if it's Binance US, but it doesn't matter. Binance is uh, not looking good too because they did the same thing before. And that was just due to um, 
quote unquote a glitch. Tweet on June 13, the company stated that they will temporarily pause Bitcoin withdrawals. The company ex explained blah 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 blah, maybe withdrawn three hours later, blah 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 blah. Um, IT specialist, technical writer, and F. So let me see the date of this. So this might be, yeah, this is an older article uh, from the 16th. So from my view, be careful on Binance as well. They just got uh, fined in Netherlands for a few million dollars for um, marketing to uh, customers in the Netherlands when they were not supposed to operate there because they didn't have a license. So these are the kind of shenanigans Binance is going through. So I'd be very, I'd definitely get out of Coinbase, uh, probably also get out of Binance. The place I would recommend that I have kind of still have some presence in is um, Kraken. And right now I've just actually moved out about 90%, actually more than 90% of my um, funds. I've been moving out of Kraken into my account, then I'll be moved into Interactive Brokers because they've been around since '83, and um, the testing Grayscale for uh, crypto exposure. Uh, there were some good signs there, uh, which is good. And um, from my perspective, Grayscale is safer, and your money is somewhat protected. Whereas if you're on Coinbase, it's not. And the other thing is with Grayscale, I mean, you don't have a lot of selection, but you will still get. Crypto, ex crypto exposure when it um, does lift off, which it has been for the last few days. The thing is I have done ETF analysis and the thing is is that um, the only thing moving when you include everything out of 50 ETFs, including Grayscale, um, there's only one that's been moving as of Friday with natural gas. It's up 7% already. So if you did, did that, you've done well. You're already up 7%. Um, but Litecoin and Ethereum Classic were ones that were triggered as well, but they were rejected by my portfolio optimizer just because it's either volatility that's not accepting it or just too much downward trend and there's no upward momentum to confirm potential order to be placed. Um, so not yet. We'll just wait it out until we see some positive news if, if crypto continues to move up. So far, so good, I have to say. Um, but for now, if you're in the ETF space, it looks like natural gas is a good one. And the other reason natural gas is good because of Europe, uh, they're pretty desperate to get natural gas. Um, and the only real place to get it, they just signed a new contract with the EU, it's still out of Russia, if you can believe it. Uh, so that will drive up price for natural gas uh, over the coming months. And I think it's going to up quite a bit because of that Europe, Europe European move, they're trying to circumvent from basically people starving in their houses when it comes to cooler weather. So um, that's where it's at. Uh, if you like this sort of stuff, you want to join more, or if you want to get your portfolio looked at, um, just uh, get signed up here, name, email, nothing gets released, and uh, move, they get to the page, quantlabs.net slash portfolio, and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching.